In this video I want to show you a really easy way to combine two materials on one object and how you can remove these sharp edges that you would normally get. So let's go into Blender. Currently I have set up this scene inside of Blender. As you can see I've created two simple plates with both a different material on its surface. The commonly known way to combine two materials on for example a plane is to subdivide one of the planes. So go into edit mode and subdivide it a few times and then add the new material to that plane's material properties so that you have two different materials in one object. And then if we go back into edit mode and select faces right here, if you would select some faces and press assign to the different material, this material would be placed on top of the plane. But as you can see, this leaves us with really sharp and ugly edges, which definitely do not look realistic. So how can we fix this? To fix this, we're going to use the vertex paint mode in Blender. So click on the plane that you want the two materials to be placed on top of. Let's go back into edit mode and subdivide it a bunch again, like this. And then go into vertex paint mode. Now, if you are in the material view, you cannot see the colors that you will be painting with. So let's go back into the solid view mode. Now we're going to paint on top of a plane with different colors. We're going to use the blue and red colors. So let's first make our whole plane a blue color. Then let's paint a red color on the place where you want your other material to be placed. So I want my material to be, look like a path. So I'm going to draw a little path like this. As you can see, if you zoom in, these two colors fade into each other and don't have a sharp cutoff. So now in the material properties, we're going to say that one material will be placed on the blue color and the other material will be placed on the red color. And because there is a fade out, these two materials will slowly fade into each other. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's go back into the object mode and into the material view. And with our plane selected, we're going to go into the shader editor. I have opened it to the side here. You can also go to the top one right here, but we're going to add a new principle BSDF to our material. This principle BSDF will be the same as the one below it. But instead of this grassy texture, it will be have our path texture. So what you can do is you can add those image textures to this one, or as I would do it, I would select on the other plane and just copy its principles BSDF with the image textures to the material of the other plane, like this. Now let's add a mix shader node between those two principles BSDFs. And as you can see, if we would change the fac, you can see that the material changes between the green grass and the path. So now let's add in that vertex paint that we just made. Let's first add in a color attribute node like this and select attribute. This is the vertex paint that we just made. So now let's add in a separate color node or a separate RGB node and let's plug either the red or the blue one into the fac of the mid shader. Why not the green one? Well, we didn't paint with green on our vertex paint. So if we do that, you can see that our two materials will be combined on top of the plane and that there is a smooth fall off. If you want to change this fall off, you can always just add in a color ramp in between it and play around with the sliders like this. So I hope that this video was helpful to someone. If you still have any questions, feel free to place them in the comments below and I will try to answer every single one of them. Good luck with your 3D adventures. Bye.